One of the trends that we have seen in American politics, which is extremely important, is what we call political polarization. You've heard a lot about it. There are a lot of ways to measure it. The way that we measure it primarily here at Gallup is to look at presidential job approval and look at the difference or the gap between the approval rating a president gets among his party identifiers and those who identify with the party of the opposition. Let's give you an example. Barack Obama, so far in his six years in office, has an approval gap of 70 points. You see the numbers. His average approval among Democrats has been 83 percent so far in his term. His average approval among Republicans, 13 percent. So the gap there is 70 points, and that is the highest polarization gap that we have seen for any president we've measured here at Gallup going back through Eisenhower. After Obama, among the top four most polarized presidencies comes George W. Bush, then Bill Clinton, and then Ronald Reagan. You see the gaps there. None of them as high as Obama's 70 percent. They range from 52 for Reagan up to 61 for George W. Bush. You'll notice that these four most polarized presidents are all recent presidents. In fact, they're four out of the five most recent presidents we've had, the exception being George H.W. Bush, who was in office from 89 through 93, early 1993. He actually had a less polarized presidency. But clearly, the data suggests that presidents are becoming more polarized, the country's becoming more polarized in more recent years. One of the issues is what's causing this polarization, and we can look at the numbers and say the interesting phenomenon is that presidents increasingly do not get high approval ratings from those who identify with the opposing party, and this is a big change from the past. Look at the most recent four presidents that I mentioned, Obama, George W. Bush, Clinton, and Reagan. They all had between 82 and 84 percent approval among the identifiers with their party, virtually no difference. The big difference comes when we look at approval ratings among their opposing parties. There we find a trend. Obama only a 13 percent approval rating among Republicans during his term. Go to George W. Bush, it was a little higher among Democrats, his opposing party, 23 points. Clinton, 26 points among Republicans while he was in office. And then Ronald Reagan, 31 percent approval among Democrats while he was in office. So clearly the phenomenon that we are seeing here is that in more recent years, presidents simply cannot get much approval at all from those who identify with the opposing party. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.